Hey there folks, this is Dan Bell with Intrigen, and today I'm gonna to go over scheduling modes with Project for the Web or Project Power App, whichever one you refer to it. Um, scheduling mode is, is something that we are probably very familiar with in Microsoft Project where you can have either fixed work, fixed duration, or fixed units. And that functionality has been added to Project for the Web, which is great. It allows us to have more scheduling flexibility. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start out setting the ability to specify the scheduling mode at the system level. Then we're going to make sure that resources have the correct calendar associated. And then we'll go ahead and do some testing with those different scheduling modes in a project. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. We're in make.powerops.com. I have the right environment selected here. I'm going to just going to hit um, my app project, which will launch my project power app interface here. And what I want to do is in the bottom left, click on projects and then go to settings. And here's my active project parameters, and that's where we're initially going to specify the default uh, scheduling mode. And we'll specify whether or not project managers are allowed to change that mode. And what I will do is I will select the record, and then we'll go ahead and click Edit. And here we are in the project parameter settings on the general tab. And you'll notice there are some items here that are already specified, the org unit, the project manager, and team member roles. And then there are two settings here, schedule mode and project level schedule mode override. What I want to do is, uh, as you can see, we have the fixed effort, duration, and units, and those correspond with fixed work, fixed duration, and fixed units from Microsoft Project, and they behave uh, very similar as uh, they do in Project. So that's great to have this ability now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select fixed duration by default, and what I also want to do is I want to allow this to be overridden by the project manager at a project level. When I say a project level, I, I mean precisely that, is that in Microsoft Project, you can specify different modes on different tasks, whereas in Project for the Web, it's at the project level. Therefore, if your project manager specifies fixed duration, every task in the project is gonna be fixed duration, conversely fixed work, or fixed effort rather, every task will be fixed effort. Right? So with those set, we'll navigate to save and close, taken care of, bottom left settings, go to projects, and then what I wanna do is go to my resources area, and these are currently the resources that I can use on my project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify the calendar for these resources. We'll go ahead and select this uh, user first. We'll specify the calendar. I'm going to specify the default work week. And in this case, the default work week is merely your typical nine to five, right? So it's going to be eight hours um, a day, five days a week. I'm going to specify it for myself here. Click apply. And then we'll specify for one more resource. Mr. Shackelford, default template, and click OK. Now, if you would like to see what the work hours are, just to confirm them, while I have one resource selected, I can click on the Show Work Hours button here. It will bring up a calendar, and you can see here are the times here. If I go ahead and click on the time, you'll see it says 5 to 1. So basically, this is because of the time zone that I'm in. It's showing up at 5. Um, rather than, you know, we could say nine, right? So I'm on the East Coast and this is a West Coast calendar, right? So five to one, and that's gonna be your eight hour day work week. We'll back out here. And now the next part of this process is to actually go ahead and do something with a project, right? Let's select new project. We'll give this a name of effort driven. And we have the default work template, which is fine. My, and then of course uh, it says fixed duration currently is the scheduling mode. However, remember I allowed the PM to override it. I can change it to fixed effort. Go ahead and select save. And this will go ahead and save my project. Here's that little note just saying, hey, um, you know, values are displayed in your time zone, right? So you know, again, related to what we were talking about just a minute ago. I'm gonna click on tasks here. And this will take me into the area where I can work on and create tasks within the system, okay? My first task is going to be effort task 100. Let's see if we can get our typing straight here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is add column and I'm gonna specify effort here. And I want to specify 40 hours of effort, right? So, so what did we say? We said this is gonna be fixed work, right? If I assign one resource to this and it's 40 hours, I would expect it to have a five day duration when all is said and done. And there you go, see it goes to five days. Again, if I add a second resource and the effort stays the same, we would expect that duration is going to change, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Go ahead and look for Amanda. We'll assign her, and this is gonna add her to the group and assign her. 
And note that the duration changed to two and a half days, exactly what we would expect to happen. Again, because we made it fixed effort, effort being 40 hours, the effort's gonna stay the same regardless of how many resources we assign to the task. So there's an example of using fixed effort. Now, if we wanna conversely go ahead and make one, right, duration driven. So there's our duration driven project. We'll go ahead and save it. And then we'll go ahead and go to the tasks. And we'll just call this duration. And this time I'm going to specify the duration of the project. Now I'm gonna add the effort column again because I want to keep track of the work. We're gonna say the duration is gonna be five days. Therefore, when I assign one resource to this and the duration is five days and the, the resource has your typical full-time calendar assigned, what we should see is an effort of 40 hours calculated. And there we go, there's 40 hours. Adding a second resource, remember the duration's gonna stay the same. It's always gonna be five days whether there's one resource or five. And what that means is that's gonna stay the same work will change. So basically it's like doubling the effort here. So we'll add another resource. This other resource will have a duration of five days and it will bring the work to, right? Add Mr. Shackelford. I assign that person to the group. And then your effort changes to 80 hours, right? So if you're familiar with task types from Microsoft Project, this makes complete sense. If not, go ahead and work with this. You know, work with the uh, you know, effort-driven, duration-driven, uh, different types of scheduling mode, and even work with the units if you want to as well. It's really a great new feature having been added to Project for the Web to allow a little more scheduling uh, flexibility than what we had previously. Okay? So hopefully, folks, you learned something from this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, have a great afternoon.